Hello everyone, my name is Teo Salvador. Welcome to Train Life, a Railway Simulator. I have never played this game, never seen any YouTube videos, but from my understanding, this game is basically American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Sim- uh, American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator meets Train Simulator. I'm intrigued, let's get into this. So, we hit new game, and we have like a whole bunch of cost customization options. I guess we'll just go through everything. Nationality, German. This game does take place in German, so I guess it would just make sense that we're German. I am German, actually, in real life. I got a little bit of German in me. Uh, we can be 19, or we can be as old as 17. How? 17. As old as 70. Let's just say we are a young train operator. Basically, my understanding is that you, you own a train company, and not only do you get to manage it, but you get to drive the trains, which I always wish they had that in um, Transport Fever. It would be really cool in Transport Fever if you could drive your trains and drive your trucks. That'd be pretty cool. All right, I guess we'll go with that guy. We have two people we could go with. We'll go with that guy. He does not look 19, but whatever. Uh, my name, we'll just... Can I can I type my name? Thank you. Mateo, that's my name. Yay. Um... Type my company name. What do we do? Uh, what, what should we name this? I have no idea. Logos. Alrighty, so I have done some stuff. I My name is Matteo. I'm from the United States. I told my parents, I'm going to go to Berlin, Germany and make a railway. And they were like, uh, yeah. So that's the story. That's us. Our company's name is Off the Rails Transport. Our company logo, I... I guess I, I'll keep that. Uh, you know, I'm kind of... I kinda, uh, our company logo. Ooh, It'd be nice if we could make a custom logo, but I'm going to go with that logo. Um, our starting place is going to be Berlin. And our career options? Missing string table entry. I'm guessing we're just going to go with default since we've never played this game before. All right, enough rambling on. Let's get this thing started. Kurt stopped. Welcome to Train Life and Europe, Engineer. As you near your graduation of the conductor's exam, we commend you on your dream of starting your own railway transportation business. Okay. Before you graduate, we just need one final example of what you know, and some time behind the throttle won't hurt. Okay. After all, as an aspiring employer, it's best to be a shining example for your future employees. Okay. We've set up this short course in Germany for you to refresh your skills and show us what you've learned. Start by familiarizing yourself with the locomotive's controls, then follow the instructions through the next few scenarios and you'll be off on your own in no time at all. Wow, look Take at that. Take your time, but try not to derail the train. Management will have my <laughs> you hear the way fresh he said that? graduate wrecks our training locomotive. <laughs> try not to derail the train. It's like he's saying, try not to break it this time. <laughs> oh man, look at that. We can click on things. Can we get up? Ah, no. Can, how, can, I, can I get up? Zoom in. Tutorial. Basic trains controls. To toggle the headlights, T. Ah, I see. Which, is there a button for that? Power reverser. Is there is there a button to be able to turn on the lights? I would imagine. Ooh, doors. Switch track. Coupling. Uh, switch cabin. Ooh, there's the lights. So I'm guessing those lights are off. That's bright, I imagine? Maybe? Okay. Toggle the cabin lights on and off by selecting the change cabin lights from radical menu. Left shift... Or by pressing G. Ah, I see. Okay. Why would I want to do that? Turn off the emergency brake using space. Okay. And I guess we could also just click that. Yep. Um, you use W to increase the throttle one step and drive until your train has reached 20 kilometers an hour. Ah, look at that. Okay. So are we going? Uh, I'm guessing... Wait, does that... Ah, okay. There we go, now we're moving. Okay. S so, now we're moving, apparently. What are all the... Wow, that's kind of cool, I like this. This looks like it could be quite an interesting game. Open tablet. We are in the Lico FZ118. Oh, look at that, it's got like damage and things like that. Total company driven distance is zero. Total time is two minutes, 35 seconds. Actually, I've been playing for 35 minutes according to Steam because I was sitting here for like a good 20 minutes trying to figure out what I wanted to name the company. All right, we gotta go up to 50 miles an hour. I like this. It's almost like if Train Simulator turned into Derail Valley in a way. That's what I'm feeling from this right now. 
Or if Derail Valley suddenly got a, a big budget. Ooh, I'm going a little fast. It, okay, so increase the throttle. Oh, increase the brake. Ah, I see. At least... To increase at least one step. The brake throttle at least one step. One stop, you can use... Ah, I see. So E and D to do that. Interesting. Okay. Ah, and I'm guessing that must be wheel slip. Do we have a horn? Yay. Oh, okay. Good. Now, I would like to know if we could get up and walk around. That'd be pretty cool. I'm not too sure if we can do that yet, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. All right. Free track. Okay. Let's uh, let's increase our speed here. What is that? Is that is that like a... Oh, that's probably like a, a crossing, probably. Yeah, like that, right there. Little uh, X intersection. Wow. Okay, so this is just a tutorial. This is kind of cool. Uh, 50 kilometers an hour. All right, so let, let's just idle it then. Oh, Okay. We, we're continuously... Oh, I see. So if I do that, that could potentially keep us moving at a constant... Oh, okay. No, it's not. Never mind. Okay. I see. What is that? Whoa. I gotta say, the graphics on this are pretty nice. And I like the fact that we can click things. It'd be really cool if you could do that in Euro Truck... Uh, yeah, both. Yeah, both Euro Truck and American Truck Simulator. It'd be kind of cool if you could... Like, click on things. What do we have there? Nothing. Oh, radios. Cool. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Those are probably just warning systems. I wonder if we could turn off the HUD and just use that. That'd be pretty neat. Where does it want us to go? Does it want us to keep moving? Ah, okay. I see. It wants us to stop. Wow, the braking systems on this train is pretty good. Okay. R wants to toggle the reverser. Ah, I see. So I'm guessing we probably want to do that to... There we go. Ooh, I like that. Let's just click. So now we're going in reverse. Let's go full throttle. Let's full throttle this. Okay. Toggle your emergency brake to slow down. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Reverser off. Okay. Ah, I see. Toggle the railroad switch direction with Q to take the right track instead of the left. Okay. All right. Let's go then. <laughs> let's uh, floor it. Hmm. What else is here, actually? There's a lot of buttons here. This game is uh, still being developed. I well, it's not. I don't think it's like still being... Well, I think it's early access, if I'm not mistaken. So there are going to be updates to this game. So if there's some things you're like, eh, I'm not sure about that. Um, there are updates that are going to be coming out as far as I know. So, all right, C to cycle through the gameplay cameras. Ooh. At least once until you get back to the cabin view. Wow. Look at that. Er, that's nice. Is that us? That's us. Okay, cool. Look around to identify the throttle lever and increase it at least once by holding. Yeah, I already did that. There we go. Now do the same with the brake. Now increase it slow. Okay. Oh, scenario is complete. Okay. Next. Let's go to the next tutorial. Yes. Ah, okay. Oh, look at this. Do we have anything behind us? No. Okay. Uh, drive forward to the service center and press F to enter it. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? Power reverser, power lever. Okay, that's new. Uh, uh, hmm. How do I operate this train? Ah, okay. That's the power lever. Okay. And that's the reverser. That's the brake. Okay, so it's the same as last time. I do kind of wish we could move back a little bit. I feel like this is really close, but whatever. It's fine. Switch cabin, perform coupling, toggle doors. Can't open doors. Train must be fully stopped. Is it going to just open this door? I'm sorry. Hold on. I'll slow down. Let's put on the Jake brake. Uh, let's put on the Jake brake. Even though trains don't have Jake brakes, but whatever. No. Wow. Imagine if we were full of cargo going down that. Where's the... Sur oh, that's the service center. Okay. What's the horn on this? Okay, cool. Got coffee cups. 
So I imagine we could probably use that as well if we wanted to. If we were to hit the, like, switch cabin button. I, I don't want to hit it because I don't know what it's going to do. But I don't know if it's going to freak the game out and be like, Oh, and then we're suddenly going to take off in that direction. Wow, look at that. All right. Press F to enter it. Okay. Oh, I see. Look at that. Okay. So there's, like, little buffers there. Ooh, I can't figure out the controls. Okay. <gasps> Floor it. Okay. F to enter the service station. Okay. So is this like... Ah, we can customize our train. Okay. Reverse train direction. Ah. What do we want to do here? I did that. Okay. Now what? Navigate the repair and refuel tabs to repair and refuel your locomotive. Okay. We have to refuel my locomotive. Okay. Refuel. Ah, I see. How do I do this? Okay. Ah, look at that. Locate the reverse direction and press it. Why would I want to do that? Drive along the route and stop in front of the sign. Slash co sign combo inside the highlighted green area. Take note of the signs and signals. to get you to the speed. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let's go back to the game. Ah, okay, so it wants me to move forward. Now I'm kind of wondering. Oh, I can't do it all here. Okay. There we go. Let's move forward just a hair. What do you want me to move to? And stop in front of the sign signal combo inside the highlighted green area. Where is that? That area? Observe how the left-hand track is occupied by broken down locomotives and therefore blocked. Where is that at? Okay, where's that at? Can I... Where's my... Oh, I lost... I lost my, uh... I lost my, um... Whatchamacallit? I lost my cursor. No. Alright, I was wondering. Can I just stop for like two seconds? I just want to see what this button does. Okay, stop. Where where is it talking to me about broken down locomotives? What happens? If, can I can I hit that? Ah, okay. That was very dramatic, but nice. Oh, I have my my cursor back. Cool. Okay. How cool. Uh, let's continue then. Oh man. Okay. Alright, so I've been driving back and forth trying to figure out where I'm going. These signs are blinking, which I'm guessing means that the speed limit is weird. Crossing loop. Okay, I guess we just have to drive along the route then. Just drive forward and see what ends up happening. Alright, okay. So, those signs are blinking. I'm guessing we're going the right way. Where We just went up the hill. That was where we were previously. The repair yard is just down there. Uh, okay. Imagine going down this with a lot of cargo. Do you notice how our train is speeding up? Despite... Man, look at that. Even putting on, like, full brake, this thing doesn't... Oh, okay, so we have to stop right there. Got it. Hold on, I just need to maintain speed. At this point, we kind of just got to maintain speed here. Okay, so this is where... Oh, it's talking about the broken locomotive up there. Observe how the left-hand track is occupied by a broken-down locomotive. That was where I was confused, because I didn't see a broken-down locomotive. And there was a green area over there, so I thought that that was the area it wanted us to get to, but that was the service yard. Make sure to switch your track direction. Uh, okay, how do I, what do I, what do I, what do I hit to do that? There you go. That's what I want. And then I think it'll take me over there. Should do. Yep. Oh, do you notice how on the mini-map it actually tells me what track I'm going on? That's cool. Okay. So I'm guessing it just switches every track to right and left. And so this one will always be... The train... An approaching train has been spotted. Cool. Alright. There's a red light. I hope that doesn't... I don't think that's a bad thing. Is that our train? Because if that's our train, that could be a little problematic. Who the heck was driving that, that it's broken? It's like the same one we're in, actually. Oh, and there's a guy sitting in it as well. Look at that. Okay. Oh, he wants us to stop there. Continue driving until you reach the service center. Oh, there's another service center right there. Okay. I probably shouldn't be speeding up. You know what? We'll just glide it in. Shall we? 
All right, so ooh, look at that. Actually, thinking about it, do we have tail lights on this thing instead of the um? Instead of the forward. Ah, there we go. There's the tail lights. Hold on. I need to stop for a second. Stop, stop, stop. Ah. Wait, don't go in there yet. Ah. Okay. So, let's see. If I switch it to this, that's the that's the running. Oh, no, it's not. Those are also tail lights. I wish that this camera could be a little bit better. Okay, maybe I'm going crazy then. All right, let's drive forward then. Just a hair. And then I think that should be the end of this tutorial. All right, let's continue the next one. In this tutorial, you will learn how to deliver a contract from one station to another. Firstly, you'll need to select a contract from the nearest station. You can use the radio for communicating with stations. Open it with A, okay? Uh, nearby stations, forest. Forest, we are, in, we are on final for runway 24 left. No, we're not. We are on final for track 24 left. I don't know, that's not a thing. Um, okay, query information. Um, Proceed to services, take contracts, select only avail... Okay, hold on. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. What does it say? Um, proceed to services, take contracts, select the only available contract, and finally choose take automatically. Quarry information. Ah, that's, that's only that. Okay. Services. Uh, three. Uh, contract. Two, I'm guessing. Take automatically. Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay, how do I close that? A, I'm guessing? Okay, nice. How do we get there? Proceed to Station Forest. That is up ahead. Alright, let's let's uh, let's get this thing started, shall we? Alright, let's move forward. This could be cool. Now, personally, I feel like this is the rear of the train. Doesn't it just look like that would be the rear of the train and this longer nose section will be the front? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, considering, but... Where, where are we going? I'm guessing we're going automatically, right? To where we have to go? Notice the dwarf signal that guards the station entrance has changed to green. Now proceed to the station. Stop when the coupling decoupling zone icon. Uh, the one with two wagons under the speedometer. Activate. What? I'm confused. <laughs> what? <gasps> Excuse me. I'm guessing it wanted me to go this way, right? All right, let's move forward. Now the question is, do we own do we own the the the, tr the the train cars? You would think we would own the train cars, right? If we own the train company, I mean, I'd imagine it wouldn't be the company that owns the train or the. I mean, maybe they would do. I don't know. Because I know doesn't Shell have their own train cars and stuff like? I don't know. I really don't know. And then they take CSX takes. I don't really. To be honest, I don't know. I don't know. I I don't work for a train company. I won't know. I'm guessing this is it. This is the service center. This is the service center. We don't want to be here. Actually, I think I lied. It says perform coupling with you to take contracted wagons. I think I lied. I think this is the place. So if I go here, let's say we stop, okay? And I hit you. Okay. Use the service center to turn the train around and drive to the sawmill. Okay. Aw, but I, I would like to... Okay, I mean, I guess that works. So, we have train cars now. Ooh, look at that. How fancy. Alright, uh, let's turn that off. That's going to be good. We got to turn the brake off. Now let's go. Now I'm guessing that we want full throttle on this, right? Because are we... Do we have anything inside here? Ah, we do. Look at that. How neat. Now the question is, are we going to be able to get out of our train? That's the one thing that I, I, I wish came to... You, ooh, that, that ends. Um, the electricity... Uh, what is that? Ooh, the electricity wires randomly start in midair. How fancy. Alright, we gotta, we gotta slow down. That uh, sounds like a, a, a metro train. Honestly, I wish... I don't know, is this like supposed to be imitating a cab over train or something like that? Actually, those don't exist. Where does it want us to go? And drive straight to the sawmill. Ah, okay. Where's the sawmill? Sawmill is here. Can I leave a waypoint? I can't. Okay. So, ooh. Okay. 
we might have some issues then. Uh, okay, I would like to... If that would be okay with you. Where's the switch track? That one. I'm a little concerned. Is that, is that a track that doesn't exist? It says there's a track that goes that way, but I don't see it. May, do you see that? There should be an intersection right there, but I don't see an intersection. Ooh, maybe that doesn't exist yet. Maybe that's going to come in a future update. Maybe? Ah, look at this. So there's different maps on here, because this is Thiendorf. And we're uh, uh, potentially starting in Berlin. Ooh, that could be interesting. Imagine it connects. I'm not too sure if it will do, but that would be kind of interesting to see. Oh, no. I didn't mean to hit that. Nope. I wanted to see what the horn button would be. Is that our fuel, by the way, on the uh, on the speedometer? It's the so it's it's just under the 180. Is that our fuel? You no longer have access to the forest. Contacting departure. We're contacting departure apparently. All right, we're going down a hill, and we have orange lights. Interesting. Uh, and I'm guessing we're gonna start speeding because we're going downhill. Oh, look at that! Look at the town. That's cool. Now, are there railroad crossings? Oh, that, 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 that little thing is really ha- Ooh, look at the mini-map there as well. Wow, that, okay, that, <laughs> this little screen display was having just an absolute blast right then. Alright, no, ooh, sawmill. Uh, I'm guessing we contact the sawmill. Services. Use the radio again, deliver. Uh, contract, deliver manually. Proceed to the station, then to the indicated track. Stop on the coupling icon, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Man, I keep thinking it's A that increases the throttle. It's W. Mateo, come on. It's the button you use to run in games. Come on. Oh, look at that. Isn't that like a little Mac truck right there? Old Mac, maybe? Or DAF? I don't know. Scania, maybe, actually. I'm not really too sure. Proceed to the next station. Okay. S. Does that, does that indicate we're going south? Yes, that indicates we're probably going south, considering that this, I would guess north, and then south. I don't know. All right. So, we're, we're, oh, good thing, what? Oh, so those tracks aren't connected. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. What if we needed to get over there for whatever reason? I guess we don't. We just, we stay on this track forever. You know what it probably is? It's probably just for the tutorial that they have you, they just have it blocked off like that, just so that you don't, you're not constantly, like, putting everything into practice right now, you know? You're practicing one thing at a time. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. I'm going to consider that I'm going somewhere. Station zone. Ah, I see. I'm going somewhere. I don't know where that somewhere is, but it, it certainly is somewhere. Um, ooh, I'm guessing we're on the wrong track. We need to be right there. Ah, wait, does that mean we can do that? I see. So if I take this around, it ideally will take me right there, yeah? It doesn't tell me that I can stop yet, right? No, it doesn't. Oh, unless it does. Not until with the two, with the two wagons under the speedometer. So that would probably that wouldn't be it. Ah, oh, that would be it. Okay. I mean, it's not showing up there. It is showing up on um, the other speedometer. What is with this narrow gauge track going on? Okay, that's weird. All right, we are approaching the drop-off zone. I'm imagining that is the drop-off zone. Uh, wait. No, I went the wrong way. Mm, I'd imagine that's the drop-off zone, yeah? Okay, so we need to stop. Hold on, Mateo needs to stop. He was an idiot. All right, let's back this thing up. I'm guessing he wants it right here. It makes sense that this would be where it wants it, right? I mean, it's, it's, oh, there we go. No, maybe right here.
Did I did I do it? Maybe it didn't want it right here. How do I how do I how do I do such things? Oh, there's a free cam. How do I get back? I don't know what I did. How do I get back? How do I how do I get back to where I was? There's a free cam apparently. Oh, maybe it wants it right here. Maybe. I I don't know what I did. There's a free cam and I don't know how to get out of it. I don't I can't even do anything actually. I think I crashed the game. No, actually, you know what? This is a good time to see what the the coupling systems are like on this. So, from what it looks like, it's a very very American styled coupling system. Um, it's got the buffers there, which is quite interesting. Yeah. Actually, isn't it that they say that this type of coupling system is actually a very dangerous? I thought I read that somewhere. I might be wrong on that. Alright, I don't know where I went. Ah, okay, I'm back. So it's the... Ah, I see. So that button does that. Okay. No, 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 back up. No, back up, buddy. Okay. I'm backing up. Um, let's back up, because I don't know where I am. Can I, can I please get my mouse cursor back? That'd be really cool. All right, we are moving in. I'm guessing this is the right track. I might be completely wrong on that, but I, ah, it is, it is. Okay, awesome, so this is the right track, good. Let's, uh, let, let's come to a stop here. Can I actually stop the train from inside of here? It doesn't seem like you can do anything um, while you're in this free cam, so that, that's good to know. There we go, all right, we are stopped. Now, if I hit U, and then I can decouple. There we go. Yay. Awesome. All right. Well, um, I, I don't know how long I've been recording for. You know what? How about we just continue through the entire tutorial? Let's go. Next tutorial. Let's do this. And then next episode, maybe we can finally start with the real game. The one thing I will say about this game, and a lot of games fail to do this, is they need to make the tutorial with the idea that you have no idea what they're talking about. A lot of games fail to do that, where they make a tutorial and they they don't make it with the idea that you don't know what they're talking about. Because the reality of the situation is, when I hop into a game, I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, that that's that's one problem with a lot of um, a lot of uh, game tutorials. They they need to make it with the idea you have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. In this tutorial, you will learn how to deliver passengers from one station to another. Start by going to the nearest service center and adding some passenger wagons. Note that you can also uh, that you also need a locomotive capable of transporting them, as well as a proper game mode, which can be selected from any service center. However, this time, you are already starting with the appropriate mode. Ah. Oh. Uh, hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, look at this. Interesting. What type of train? Oh, there's a guy right there. There's a guy right there. Is there a guy right here? There is also a guy right there. Interesting. Look at... Wow. Look at that. Is that is that the carpet? Because I feel like I'm looking at like an airport car like an airplane cargo hold when I look at that. I don't know. Wow, neat. Okay. So, when it says wagons, does it mean wagons in between? Cuz if oh, cuz if that's what it's saying, then okay, that makes sense. Like I'm looking at this train and it looks like one of those like bullet trains almost. Uh some of the ones they have down in Germany. I know it's not really bullet trains. I don't think you guys have bullet trains, do you? Um, what is it? Like those fast kind of express trains you guys got there? I don't know. Let's continue. Um, phonograph. Oh, our phantographs are up. Very cool. Um, this is our, uh, yeah, this is the first electric locomotive we're taking. All right, that's the emergency brake. I'm guessing it's now deactivated. Okay. Interesting. Oh, look at that. Everything is totally reversed on this. So, where's the service center? I'm guessing it's right here. Ah, it is. I need to stop. Sorry, I wasn't expecting the service center to be there. Stop the train. Blocked signal. I'm sorry. Hold on. You know, you guys could have told me where the uh, where the service center was. Don't blame me for going through the signal. Okay, you gotta stop. All right, service center. There we go. Let's go to the service center. See what this has to offer. Okay, so this is the train. Um, in this tutorial, blah, 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 add some passenger cars. Manage locomotives. Ah, okay. Postage wagon. Okay. Wait a minute. 
Interesting. Okay. How much do you want me to add? Passenger turns to have performed a player-defined route. You can set it up using your tablet. Open with M and go to the route planner tab. Uh, okay, how many of these do I have? How many of these do you actually want me to have? Uh, I guess five will do? Okay. What do we have? Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Now, one of these is supposed to be... A, a male postage car, apparently. Which I wouldn't have thought that that would be something you could do on this train. But okay. Interesting. Okay. So, if we go to the... Okay, I, I, gotta, I gotta get out of that menu. Um, it'd be nice if that wasn't in the way. Dashboard. Okay, dashboard. No. Um, where's the root planner tab? Press M and go to the root planner tab. Uh, oh, root planner. Okay. So you can set up a route by selecting stations on the map. Select stations will be aware of your route. Selected stations will be aware of your route and will take it into account in their timetables. If you want, you can check apply. You can click apply to GPS uh, to have this route stored in your map and minimap. Select Thindorf South and Thindorf North. Okay, boom and boom. Yay. Open the station's communication with A and contact the first station. Select services, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Apply to GPS. Confirm. Okay, we'll remove existing waypoints. Okay, so we're going to south. Um, services, passenger boarding. Now enter the station on the indicated track. Okay, what, what track is that? What track do you want me to go on? <laughs> All right, we got to move that down. Oh, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way, Mateo. Wrong way, Mateo. All right, we, uh, can, I, can I select you? Can I... Okay. So one thing they need to fix is they need to fix the fact that your mouse cursor disappears. That's the one thing I'll say right now. As far as I can say, this game's going to be pretty good. I'm actually looking forward to it. Obviously, this is the tutorial, so it's pretty boring. But, um, you know, it's actually going to be pretty good, I think. Okay, I gotta, I gotta stop. Mateo needs to figure out his controls. I still need to figure out. W and E are to increase. A, uh, S and D are to decrease. Is that the way we're supposed to go? That's not the way we're supposed to go. All right, listen. That's not the station. Okay, there we go. You know what? How about we just put on the emergency brake for now? That that seems to do everything really nicely. Back it up. Can we, by the way, hear the train moving? See sparks coming off of the fantographs? Whoop! So I'm guessing we're on the wrong track. All right, because we got to go straight ahead. Makes sense. All right. Put on the brake. Ooh, I hope that doesn't break anything. <laughs> yeah, I think we're breaking the train when we do that. Whatever, I don't really care. All right, where is... That's the... Hold on, I need to... What happens if I click that? Okay, I'm in the other... I'm in the... Okay, I'm in the other... The other cockpit. There we go. The other cockpit. The other cab. Can I, can I have my mouse cursor back? It'd be really cool if I could have my mouse cursor... Okay, I don't know how to... What's what's the control? Control, so that's a reverser. Toggle track switcher. There we go. Q. Okay, that, that'll help me out. Uh, that's what I need. All right. Move, let's move this thing forward. No, 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 no. Like, why are you still moving in reverse? What? Why? Why are you still moving in reverse? Stop. Interesting how that's forward. Interesting how back is forward and forward is reverse. Please say, okay, going straight. Now, do we have to switch this before we get to this track? I'm a little curious. I guess, right? Isn't that how we want to do it? Okay, I mean, it worked, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that's how we have to do it. <laughs> we're on the, we're on the track to destiny. Wow, look at this. This is cool. Now, the only thing they need is the ability to get out of your train and walk around. I mean, I guess we could use this, which is pretty cool, but... It'd be cool if we could just walk around. Now, my question is, is oh, there's actually people! I was gonna say, if there's actually people walking around, that'd be a lot of fun. Open doors using the radical menu, or by pressing V. What's the radical menu? <laughs> you have not taught me such things. You have not taught me such things, games. I don't know what the radical menu is. 
All right, let's stop. Um, can I just apply the... Oh, does that tell me when the train's arriving? Actually, out of curiosity, I'm going to stop and... Oh, look at that. Passengers. Very good. Okay. Real quick, I want to read this. Does this... Does this say when the train's arriving? Lentils, Moralton. No, I'm guessing it probably doesn't. Ooh, it'd actually be pretty cool if that worked. I mean, seeing that that works would be pretty interesting. I don't know, actually, we're not going to half of those stations as far as I know, so I don't think that that's how this works. So if I hit V, the doors don't open because I have to be here. Oh, boarding is in progress. Okay, that's a shame. I was hoping that the doors would open. Yeah, the door's closed. Systems will remain blocked. Okay. That's a shame. I was really hoping that the doors would actually open. Okay, I'm guessing we have to switch tracks now. Okay. Or uh, switch cabin. There we go. So let's go to that. We'll go to the other cabin. Um, and we'll continue on our merry way. All right. Uh, that moves does that. That does that. That goes forward. Okay, let's go. That's a shame. I was really hoping that, you know, we would see passengers walking in. Um, hopefully they'll add that detail at some point. Because that, that'd be pretty cool. Or maybe fix that a little bit. You know, maybe... Even if it was just like a black hole right here. Make it so it doesn't look like... Oh, yeah, that's the ground. So we can shift to move really quick. Oh, I, by the way, I should probably... I should probably look at this real quick before we go any faster. Um... Pfft, should probably make sure that I can turn that off. Visual effects... Blah, 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 blah. Shall call it... Blah, blah, blah. Uh, display mode blurless. Doesn't have motion blur. Okay. Yeah, I guess it really isn't motion blur. You're speeding! I am. Please don't find me. It's my first day on the job. Well, actually, it's like probably like my tenth day by now, but we'll see. Alright. Okay, so I'm guessing we now need to contact the north, right? Proceed to the station. Okay, drive straight to the next station. Okay. I hope that doesn't crash it. I know in some games you 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 do something early and the game's like, um the game doesn't know what to do after that. They're like, I don't know what to do now. You already did that and you can't do it again. And so then it just kind of crashes and doesn't do anything. So hopefully, working ahead, this game is sophisticated. Although, I haven't ran into any problems yet. So, I will say that I, I, don't, I don't think we've glitched the game out yet. Maybe it's not possible to glitch the game out yet. The game will just do its thing. Now, it would be nice if we could sit a little further back. That, you know. Is there anything else here? I don't know. I'm not sure yet. It's 9 a.m. apparently. Ooh, drive forward. Nope. You know why I think it's A? is because in, in, in uh, Train Some World, hitting A is the button to... Yeah, I already did that. Yay. Okay, good. So we can do that again. Entering the station, going to the indicated track. Yeah, we know this. How far is the station away? Oh, slow down. I hear noises behind us, and I don't like it. Uh, I'm hoping we're on the right track. It's a little far away for me to say that I'm comfortable making a decision right now. Noise. So, I do wonder if we can see our AI vehicles. That would be pretty neat, actually. If we could see our AI trains moving around. Because we basically own a train company, don't we? Hopefully, it just doesn't become half as grindy as uh, Derail Valley. Don't get me wrong. Derail Valley is a lot of fun. It just gets really grindy after a little while. I'm waiting for some, another update before I kind of play it again. I downloaded a save file and got some stuff. Because the game gets really, really grindy after a little while. And uh, yeah, I, that's why I stopped playing it. But whatever. Um, so I'm guessing we have to slow down. Yeah. Look at that. Speed limit. We're on the speed limit. All right, I don't know where I'm going. I'm going to guess we're going the right way. Can we can use the wipers? Yeah, we can. Oh, okay. That's the station up ahead. 
Uh, what's the horn? A very, um... I'm trying to figure out. Is that like an American-style horn? I don't know. Can't tell. Alright, you gotta slow down. Mateo, you gotta slow down. Stop going so fast. Well, what it looks like is it's good that it looks like we won't be fined. Ah, okay. Uh, no, I need you to go straight. Because going there goes to the service center. Ah, I see. Good to know. So it's like a little island platform then. Now, do we get paid for this? Are we doing? Are we? Are we transporting cargo for nothing? Is it? Is it getting taken off in taxes? Is this? Is this what's going on here? <laughs> oh, look at that passengers. I'm glad that there's at least passengers. Um, I'm happy about that. That that's a good thing. I mean, yeah. Interesting. There's there's stuff on the signs here. Now, question is. All right. Let's get this train to a stop. I want to read this. Ooh. Renford Back District, 1145. Renfield Council Train Service at 1138. It's only 9 o'clock, so I don't know what it's on about. Platform 2. Is this Platform 2 or is this Platform 1? What, what platform is what? So if I'm here and you're like, oh yeah, Platform 2. Where do I go? Alright, let's, uh, let's get the emergency brake, get these doors open. Uh, I open the doors. Doors have been opened. Delivery complete. You gained 54 experience and $3,000. Very good. How high can I go, actually? Can we see the edge of the map? <gasps> we can. <gasps> there's no streets. Streets don't exist. Actually, there's a street right there. But there's no streets going through the towns. Wow, look at this map. Oh, there's like a little power plant right here. A little uh, coal power plant, looks like. Or, yeah. I wonder, oh, we could probably drop off coal and stuff like that here. Noise. Oh, and there's like box, no, those aren't box cars. Oh, actually, I wonder if we can drop stuff off here. It would seem like this would be a perfect opportunity to have this as like, oh, yeah, look at that. Have this as like a train yard. Oh, maybe it's oil? Considering this cargo here? Or, uh, cargo, this, uh, this train car? Oh, that's derailed. Um, I'm guessing that's just for scenery then. Okay. Do the tracks even continue over here? Oh, they do. Okay. Well, I think um, we're done with that. Let's close the doors. Oh, okay. So that's the windshield wipers. Good to know that those operate. Doors closing. Go to career. Yay. So I think that's it. We, we just finished. Congratulations, engineer. Oh, scared me. You've completed your conductor's exam with flying colors. And you're not ready to take to the rails of Europe without me watching over your shoulder. Can I say something? You'll prefer the reprimand for driving slowly as opposed to hitting other vehicles or breaking any laws. When in doubt, relax and take your time. But you don't have to undertake such a large task alone. There are others like you, all looking to make a dent in the market and transport what they can. As your company and experience grows, you'll be able to hire some of them to work for you. Just like during your exam, the cities across Europe are constantly in need of all kinds of resources and goods. And more than that, there are thousands of people and parcels awaiting transportation between cities. If you and your employees help out enough, I've heard that cities give the more accommodating companies preferential treatment. Consider that a tip from a friend, but don't go repeating it, alright? I've good. seen a lot of students over the years, but I've got to admit that you're graduating at an exciting time. Take chances, strategize your deliveries, and grow your empire into one of Europe's greatest railway transportation companies. Noise. Okay. So, um, you know what? That guy mentions about how he was apparently standing over our shoulder. You know, he wasn't standing over our shoulder. If we consider that one lady, Mira, from Bus Simulator 21, he is definitely not standing over our shoulder. I got respect for this guy. I got respect for him. I don't know your name, dude. Respect. Respect. All right, so this is apparently the first train, um, which is cool. We get to finally do our own thing, which is so exciting. That, But... That will be for next episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. I will be coming out with another episode. Um, I'll be doing a little bit more bus simulator, so make sure to stay tuned for that. If you want to join my Discord and get notified when I go live, I'll be live streaming, I think, Wednesday, if I have time. But yeah, anyways, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Slaughter, peace!